Another one of those funky, funny, more money shows. A cast for laughs, for talent, for pros, and system with twists. For you, the looking listener, it seems you don't believe, so you believe what I can bitch you. The point is, you're short and short, we'll make it snappy. We're jokes and folks, and folks, they keep you happy. No need to hold your remote control. Chill. This show got soul. All aboard, all aboard. The train up a chuckle. You better snuggle up, couple up, walk a double up, double, yeah. It's hard to believe, but some of the best things in life are free. So, fellas, grab your girl. Tell her that you love her, cause that's the way you're living when you're living and living in color. Hi, I'm Latoya Jackson. Well, I'm not posing new for Playboy magazine, getting plastic surgery and breast implants, making a fool of myself with my late night psychic hotline, and going on the talk show circuit with my white manager husband pimping my book about getting abused by my dad. I'm taking care of my brother Michael. Here he is after his latest plastic surgery operation, and we'll be unveiling him live on Fox TV tonight. Say hello, Michael. Hi, everyone. This is going to be my last operation ever. I just know it. <laughs> While we're unwrapping Michael, take a look at this. Mom! Dad! Is anybody home? Macaulay Culkin's at it again, but this time... Hey, Macaulay, can I come in and play? He's home alone again with Michael Jackson. Gee, Michael, I'd like to let you in, but my parents said they couldn't have anyone over. <laughs> I sent your parents to the Bahamas. We've got the whole house to ourselves. Well, I'm a big star now. What happens if my career falls apart? You gonna dump me like Webster? <laughs> no, QIT. We can be friends forever. I'll even let you play with one of my old noses. Sure. Okay. You can come in, I guess. Yes! <laughs> Let me in. I've got some naked pictures of my sister. Who doesn't? Why don't you just beat it, Michael? Hey, that sounds like a great idea, Macaulay. Macaulay, open up. I'll let you play with my monkey. Or better yet, we can blow bubbles. Okay, Michael. If you really want to, come on in. What is this, a Pepsi commercial? I know. Let's play at my house. I'll let you play with the elephant, man. We can take a nap in my oxygen chamber. Come on, please. I want to see you moonwalk. Ah! Please, please, please. Home Alone Again. Coming this holiday season to a theater near you. Nothing to do? Is your family quality time like family nap time? Well, wake up! 
It's time for fun with the Michael Jackson Potato Head Kit. That's right. Capture the many faces of Michael Jackson with the Michael Jackson Potato Head Kit. 400 molded plastic facial features allow kids to reconstruct Michael's ever-changing face after every single one of his plastic surgery operations. I made my Michael Jackson potato head look like he looked when he was with the Jackson 5 with a strong Afro-American lows and a big fro. I made my Michael potato head into the Michael of April 1986, right before his third nose job, but after his extensive cheekbone reconstruction and the cleft added to his chin. Now. Keeping the April 1986 face as it is. Replace the hair with hairpiece number 139-G. And look who you've just made. It's Michael Jackson's own idol, Diana Ross. Now, just add mole number 5-G, and you've made Michael's fabulous sister, Janet. Take away the nose completely, and you've just made LaToya. Make Michael look just like he looked on the front of his bad album. That's great, son. But you know, something's just not quite right. I know. That's right. With just an ordinary kitchen vegetable peeler, you can simulate Michael's chemical face peel and dermabrasion strokes. The only limits are your family's imagination. There is no end to the Maxio Facillary fun. The Michael Jackson Potato Head Kit from Dimco. Mass potato liposuction accessories sold separately. Hi, we're back. And we're about to do the final unveiling of my brother Michael's latest plastic surgery operation. Drum roll, please. It's perfect. Now do the chest. Woo! He looks better than me. It's time for the Celebrity Family Feud. Let's welcome today's contestants. From England, meet the royal family. Elizabeth, Charles, Di, and Fergie, get ready. And from Gary, Indiana, the Jackson family. Joe, LaToya, Tito, and Jermaine. And now the star of Family Feud, Rick Holmes. Thank you very much. Hello to the Jacksons. Welcome to the Royal Family and welcome to the Family Feud. Hi, everybody. We're going to get started by meeting two great families. Will you welcome the Royal Family, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> if you would introduce your team, I'm Ray Combs. Hello. Yes, of course. I'm Charles, Prince of Wales. That's my mummy, the Queen of England. And that's Diana, the future ex-wife and uh, fashion-conscious bulimic. Oh, and um, me, I'm Fergie. Oh, yes, of course. I almost didn't recognize you with your top on. Oh, Charles. Well, it's nice meeting this family, and it's a pleasure to have you on our show representing what probably the best responses could be from 100 average Americans. Meet your opponents, ladies and gentlemen, the Jacksons, weighing in at 200, with 72 knockouts, all within his own family. We you welcome, Joe Jackson. Hey, all Joe. right, now, I'll... Joe, who'd you bring with you today? Well, Ray, only two of my children have real jobs, so I pretty much had my pick. Now, I brought along Latoya... Hi. Hi. Jermaine. And uh, this other, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Toto. Uh, Tito, Dad. Uh, hey, well, whatever. Welcome, welcome. Uh, <laughs> can't think of two better families, Latoya. What, what, what's the deal with that snake? I, I like to pose naked with it. Isn't it a little bit degrading? Yes, but he gets used to it. <laughs> I got a feeling this is going to be a great feud, and I'd like to say it's time to play the feud. Let's go. Right Into the family, join me. This is great. The first family to take control of two questions will win this game. Surveyed 100 parents on this question. We have placed the top five, some big ears, five, top five answers on the board. Good luck. Ask 100 parents. Here's the question. What do your kids do? That drives you crazy. Joe? Uh, bleed on the cops. Good answer, Daddy. Good answer. Fine 
minutes with you to make our survey. Sorry, Joe, it did not. Any answer gives you control, Prince. What do you think kids do that drive you crazy? Ooh. Reza Hubbub. Oh, good answer. <laughs> did that make our survey to raise a hubbub? You have control. <laughs> Think of a steal. I'd like to see you win this thing. All right. All right, Fergie? Yes? Things that annoy you, kids. Things that annoy kids? Oh, um, uh, raise our hubbub. <laughs> Good answer! <laughs> Unfortunately, that little sound means that you cannot give an answer given by one of your teammates. Oh, bunk! <laughs> that is one strike. Die, it's up to you. Um, uh... Annoying things your children do. Hide your sleeping pills and blades. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Good answer. All right, are you rolling with them? Hide your suicide weapons. That is two strikes. Jackson's think of a steal. It's up to you, Liz, the lovely queen. Oh, yes. You oh. are a beautiful woman, I might add. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure um, to have you here. Have their toes sucked by a Yankee. Oh, fun. Something that your kids do that annoy you. The yes, queen yes, says she yes. hates it when she has her kids' toes sucked by a Yankee. Yes. The Jacksons have the chance to steal this. Look at that. What a move right now. All Give right, me Joe. one answer to help Joe. Uh, 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 hold on. Let me ask the question. This is my job now. What do kids do that drives you crazy? Under parents. One answer. Anything. Uh, uh, don't know how to take an answer. Come on. 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 Uh, I would say, let the monkey drink out the toilet. No good, good answer. Good, good, good answer. answer. Good answer. Yeah. Oh yeah! yeah. You got the first. That's unbelievable. The first thing goes to the Jacksons on the steal, but it's not over. Fergie, the toy, it's time for another face-off right now. Here we go. Good luck. Keep that snake uh, kind of away from me. Here we go. This question was asked of a hundred people. That, that, keep that snake away from me. Here we go. Top five answers. If you want to put your hand on there, you can. Good luck. You ask a hundred people, this top five answers are there. Name a common expression heard around the house. Oh. Bergie. Uh, grab your trousers. My husband's home. <laughs> nice talking to you. Let's see if that made our survey. No. You have a chance here. Na Damn, that snake almost bit me. <laughs> Name and answer. All right. A common expression heard around the house. <laughs> um, everybody help Michael find his nose. <laughs> Did that make the survey? Hey, right. made the survey. Now, wow, somebody really say that. I was one of the 100 people surveyed. You give us steal, royal family. This is the chance, Joe. Here you go. I want you to name a common expression heard around the house. Let me see. Uh, why did Latoya write that damn book? <laughs> You're rolling if we see. Why did she write the book? No, okay. Chance for the royal family. I'm coming on down here now. The question I want you to answer for me. Name a common expression heard around the house. Uh, please, Michael, could we go on tour one more time? <laughs> Good answer. Does it keep you rolling? Show it to me. I want the royal family to think of a steal because you may have an answer to steal from if there is a third strike. If we don't get an answer from Tattoo. It's, it's, it's Tito, man. Tito. All right, show me Tito. That is the third strike. It's still your bank. But you can stay alive and steal it. Oh, One uh, answer, Queen, to help him. Oh, a common expression uh, heard around the home. What would you say? Uh, fetch the boy that ties my laces. Very common, yes. Uh, uh, fetch the man like he just banking. Yes, I'm very good. far too tired for sex. Um. You can go with anything they said around your own. Tell them what you really want them to say, but I need an answer, Prince. Oh. And I need it in three seconds. Um, Come on. Um, bring me more desserts and a bucket to vomit in. Oh. You're good with that one. If it's there, you're still alive. If not, the Jacksons have won the game. Show me vomit. The Jacksons have won this game! They stole it from the royal family, and what is the charity who decided to play for? Oh, my man Tito's career. Oh, that's it. Oh. Well, the family 
it gets ready, Latoya, it's time for the bonus round. Come on up here. Just keep your snake back. Good luck. And he plays 20 seconds on that clock. Good luck. We ask 100 people. <laughs> no fuck the snake or not. Here's the five questions. Name something you do before bedtime. Uh, let the llama out. Let me see if it's on the survey. No, that is one. Number two, name something made of synthetics. My breasts. Good answer. Let me see. Yes, it's there. Something that you see in a magazine. My breasts. Show me your breasts. Yes, it's there. Name something on your chest. Um, pass. Okay, we can make up for it in the last question. Something Dad does around the house. Beats me. All right, let's see. Does your father beat you? It's there. You have another answer. That in the strongest possible term. I ain't never let a hand on you. You better call you little help. There's another family feud for you. Little chat. Now I'm Ray Cole saying join us next week. Bye. Another bad creation. No, you gotta look up and tell them okay. that.